unless you are broken, God cannot use you to do great things. God cannot use you for his glory. Please take that down. You see, when God says he's looking for broken vessels, he's looking for people to use for mighty things. And I don't know whose life is broken today. Or somebody who is broken in one way or the other. But my prayer for you is that God will still use you mightily. The passage we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 25 to 28. It says, have you not noticed that God does not use people that are wise? Have you not noticed that God does not use people that are strong? Have you not noticed that God does not use people that are rich in their sight? Because those people are full. They think they get it. They think they have arrived. And people like that are not useful in the hands of the Almighty. Please take this one down. God's seeming foolishness is better than your wisdom. So when you say, look, I don't think you understand, Pastor. Hey, I know what the Bible says, but Pastor, leave that matter. No matter how wise you are, the foolishness of God is better for you to follow. Because the Bible is very clear. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. The foolishness of God is better than the wisdom of man. Write this one down. The seeming weakness of God is better than your strength. The weakness of God is better than your strength. The weakness of God, the weakness of God is better than your strength. The best of you, the best of you can achieve nothing without God. And then take this one down. When you consider yourself self-sufficient, God can't use you. That's why he said in that passage on the screen, he said, have you noticed that God does not use the people that are wise? Have you noticed he does not choose the people that are strong? Have you noticed he does not choose the people that are noble? Because if God chooses them, whatever they accomplish, they will attribute to their wisdom. 